to the level? Please. Hey, is that Timmy's? Yeah, because we're in Canada. <laughs> hey, Zach here from Tukes and Tires. So I had a couple people message me about the truck in my opening scene, so I thought I'd make a video on it. This is my uh, 1954 Chevy pickup that I call the rat rod. No reason why, it's just I kind of wanted a rat rod, and I mean, it really didn't turn into one, but this is, this is it. So it's got a... Uh, 283 that's bored out 60 thou aluminum rad street signs as inner fenders uh, another truck that you might see on the channel uh, i have an 82 s10 that i ls swapped uh, that engine that's in this now came out of it um, Got a wood bed floor in it. And yes, we're gonna go driving today. So I have the jerry cans in there. I need some more fuel so that I can heat up the heat up the shop. But we get you from inside here, you can see what what I see. So I got uh camshaft as my door pull, and I got an old uh, an adjustable as the handle to open the door and then I were like I really wanted electric windows so I we had a parts truck behind the barn that had some electric motors in it and I got some relays down there to reverse the polarity on a micro switch I have in this wrench so that you can flip it either way so that the window goes up and down and both sides are done like that and I got a rat trap as my gas pedal uh, GPS Speedometer, some gauges from Canadian Tire and uh, Princess Auto. Um, reused the original shifter uh, for the uh, T5 that's in it, that's out of an S10. And then I got a Canadian flag as the headliner. Uh, old Cadillac seat that we had laying around. And it's sitting on, uh, it used to be a one ton truck and it was a flatbed. So it's sitting on the original frame in the back and the back frame is just uh, C-notched and it's got a uh, 2000s era Jimmy rear end with disc brakes all the way around. Uh, it's got a 70 Nova front clip that's grafted on and then I'm running like S10 spindles on the front just to make it easy when I go to get parts so that uh, I don't have to uh, you know, mix match stuff. It just, it works all together. But yeah, it's a sp pretty sweet truck. I bought it, uh, I think I was like 17. Uh, I always wanted a truck like my dad's, but to buy a 57 Chevy truck in good condition, it's, it's a bit of money. So this came up for sale, it was pretty cheap and it turned into what it is today. So we'll get some beauties of it driving and uh, Maybe we'll even stop at Timmy's because that's the most Canadian pastime you can do. So, and it'll look a little better that it's not here in the in the shade. So, also here's a picture of it the day I picked it up. It was pretty rough, and uh, I got a picture of halfway through working on it, and a picture of my dad's truck is gonna come up that inspired me to build this. So now to the cruising.
I'll just grab like whatever they have, like a farmer wrap or something. Uh, you, you want a farmer's wrap? Sure. Alright. Double level? Please. Okay, and what's the rank uh, Medium double double. Perfect. And then I'll also get a uh, ham and cheddar. Okay. Uh, with no tomato, with a small ice cap, with a chocolate syrup shot. Perfect. Anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Awesome. All right, so we made it down here at the local watering hole with my main man, Kenny. She's looking mint. Might be a little better in this daylight. Be able to see a little better. Pop the hood again. But yeah, it's looking good. And if you didn't know what the local watering hole is, it's Tim Hortons. But I think that's gonna do it now. For now, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And as always, uh, don't forget to salute the beaver. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs>